Okay, we are armed. We are armed to the teeth with our lovely get out of the fucking way. <laughs> with our lovely grenade launcher. Fuck the Magnum. The grenade launcher is better. Because it takes freeze rounds. The grenade launcher is so much more versatile than the Magnum is. It's got freeze rounds, which is good against Nemesis. It's got flame rounds, which is good against pretty much any boss. It's got acid rounds, which is good against one of the bosses later in the game. And then it's got its bog standard explosive things that I never use. I just use them to make other things. Right, as soon as we get back to where the fire hose was on the wall, Nemesis is going to chase us. Just clear out these zombies first and you'll see for why in a minute. <laughs> Nemesis appears in a very very little tight alley and there is no way I am fighting him in a little tight alley. I'm going to lure him back to here. There he is. Oh, he does have a rocket launcher. He also doesn't approve of, of fire safety because he decided to smash up the, the fire hydrant thing. Or maybe he just thought, Jill, you've been running around for like two hours, you fucking stink, have a bath. Alright, let's get him to use up his rockets first. Don't know how many he has. That was three, four... Five. I think he had six because he fired one at me in the other bit. Now, let's take advantage of Nemesis' <laughs> wonderful AI. Stand on some pallets. <laughs> and shoot him in the face with fucking liquid nitrogen. <laughs> I'm Nemesis. I'm like eight foot tall. I'm a fucking mint bioweapon and shit. But I can't climb up a pallet. <laughs> My twat. <laughs> Will you take the M37 parts A? Eh? Yes, I will. Together with me, you can get over your fear of Nemesis as well. And we can all just sit and point and laugh at his terrible AI. Oh, you fuckers are still here, are you? Eesh. Uh, right now it's pretty much just a marathon sprint back to the cable car. And I wonder how many times on the way Summit's going to try and stop me. <laughs> so far, one.
I love how there's an earthquake and she's just like putting her hands on her hips like oh, for fuck's sake this shit again I will climb up because life is too goddamn short If you jump off, you get to go into like a new area, but there's nothing down there really, nothing major, no items or anything, and you've just got to go around in a big circle to get back up here, so let us not waste time. Well, it's basically down there is a sewer with like, like a big dirty cocoon. Oh, finally, you come out to see me, did you? A big dirty cocoon that sort of foreshadows a boss later on. What's in here? Grenade rounds! More grenade rounds I can use to make freeze rounds! Freeze rounds and flame rounds and acid rounds! My name is Jill Valentine and I like to fire my rocket launcher. <laughs> Something will happen in a minute. I know there's a lot of running around at the moment. Just, just run, run, run all the way back to the fucking table car. This is why I made such a big thing of killing everything on my first run through. To make it a little bit quicker. Right. What am I doing? I'm wasting time is what I'm doing. <laughs> I've already got everything I need. I was going to say where did the crows go? They're still there. They're feeding on the corpses of the pre-rendered zombies. Stars. Nemesis again! <laughs> this is something decides to get in my way number two. Do excuse me while I fanny about for a bit, because this one, uh, this glitch in his AI is quite hard to do. Uh, I don't think he follows me out here though. No, I don't think he's going to follow me. Pussy. <laughs> I'd totally be down for fighting him out here in a big open area, but no. He wants to fight me in a fucking area with loads of little corridors and shit. And turn it back onto auto M for the love of God. Alright, you fucker. You can sort of get him caught on this corner here. It's like a little dinky garden wall. <laughs> and you could sort of get him caught on it. But you can only shoot him for so long before he decides to turn around. And then he's like, I'm not stuck on this little garden wall anymore. Why did I just unequip my gun? Am I even shooting him? I didn't even see any blood. <laughs> I don't even think I was shooting him there. Just, um, just funny about again. Because <laughs> as soon as he falls down and gets back up, he's not stuck on the corner anymore. Thankfully, though, he does retain the damage you've already done to him, which is nice. Now, where is he? 
You're back down here now, are you? <laughs> Fucking knob. Now he's sort of stuck on this little bit of wall. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Will you take the M37 Part B? Combine them and make the Western Custom, which is another shotgun. Now, I was trying to lure him back into that little ornamental garden he bit with the statue, and uh, he got caught on a bit of background I didn't even know he could get caught on. So, I has learnt something. And just avoid these fuckers that I didn't kill before. And prepare to be waylaid for a third time. Ah! Ah! I'm Jim Valentine and I'm falling. <laughs> I'm falling. And she's doing the hands on hip thing again. I don't know, right, but if there was a wall in front of me that was crumbling and that, and there was obvious signs of some big fuck off thing being behind it, uh, turn that switch on. I certainly wouldn't stand there with my hands on my hips, all like, look at the sort of shit I have to put up with. Press the other button and get your ass up the ladder. Nice try, twat. <laughs> you can kill it, but you get nothing for doing so, so it's a massive waste of time. And even if you do kill it, it still comes back later. Spoilers. You know, that clock on the wall said half eleven when I was here last time. I don't think any time has passed whatsoever. Right, time to fix the cable car. A power cable, a fuse, and the mixed oil. Okay, there's the fuse. There's the mixed oil. And there's the power cable. It looks like we're ready to go. No thanks to you. Here, take this. Oh, it's flame rounds. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. It's looking good. I like how the things we can interact with are actually polygons and not pre-rendered. Mikhail! It's alright, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to stand here and watch Jill go and see how Mikhail is. How the fuck did you get on this cable car? It was moving. Get out of the cable car now! Mikhail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Mikhail is badass. Come here, Mikhail. I've got some rabbit a tooth crime for you. Mikhail. Oh, poor Mikhail. 
It did not no, wrong. The brakes are out. That's what you do when like <laughs> the train's gonna crash. Use the emergency brake, bitch. This must be. Regardless of what you do, you end up in the same place. But you end up in different areas of the place and my brain only works a certain way, I only know one route. <laughs> 